Hey, how's it going? Do it's Hot Wheels. Peace. Well, I did a little video a little while ago, and I mentioned that I was going to do a wheel swap on these two. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know, maybe you guys like... I don't know. I like this car. I just don't like, I just don't think the wheels look good. I want to put these wheels on there. Of course, they're red outlined again. And I'm going to put the orange ones on the pixel shaker. Most likely give it to my grandson unless he says he doesn't want it. But uh, I think this car would just look a lot more realistic with some wheels like this on there. But I mean, I like it. I just like the looks of the lethal diesel. I don't know why. You know, I, I guess it's a fantasy vehicle. I don't really usually do fantasy vehicles, but I think that one just looks kind of cool. But I want some different wheels. It just looks too cartoonish to me with those on there. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe some of you guys like it like that, but I'm going to change it to suit my needs. I did one before. It was pretty easy, I guess, but they were plastic. This one's metal. Might be a little more challenging for me. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can change them real quick. And I'll pause you because I don't, I know you don't want to wait forever to watch me wrestle this thing. But I'm kind of anxious to see if it's really... I don't think it's going to look popping out magic. You know, nothing like that. The Pixel Shaker will probably come out looking better. But it will look good to me. And I'll put it with my cars over there. Right now it just looks a little too cartoonish. Alright, so see you in a little bit. Actually, I'm back already. Let me go ahead and open them. Let's get a look at them real quick. Like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead. I only got one of these, and it was just for the wheels. I like those wheels. Those are probably some of my favorite wheels right there, I would say. And uh, as far as regular, <clears throat> basic wheels. And uh, But I'm probably going to grab another one of these to keep. Just because it's got the skull and crossbones, and it is basically a pixel-style bone shaker. And uh, I didn't think about that when I was there, and there was like three of them. But I just grabbed one. But anyway, I'm going to grab another one, and I'm going to keep it just like it is. And if my grandson doesn't want this one after I swap it, I'll keep it too with the orange wheels on it. Which sometimes he don't. You never know. He's, got his, he's only six, but he's got his own mind. And for some reason, he knows what a Bugatti is. Anyway, so I want to have a Bugatti. Bugatti? How you know about a Bugatti? I just do. I want that Bugatti. So he's already got Bugattis. He knew exactly what those were. Anyway, well, let's push this lethal diesel out. Like I said, man, maybe maybe it's not your cup of tea, but I like that car. I don't usually do fantasy cars. But I would like it to look a lot more lifelike, realistic, as in something I would see driving down the street. And really, the wheels are the only thing that stopped me from visualizing that thing going down the street. So I'm going to put these wheels on there, hopefully, without any trouble. And I don't think it's going to be an eye popper or anything. I mean, I think that Jig's car came out good. I really like the way it popped with the yellow. Kind of like that does. I don't think this is going to do that. But I think it's going to look better to me as far as believing I would see that go down the road. So anyway, there they are. Pretty cool looking. I'm going to see what happens when I swap them. Hopefully I don't mess it up. This one is a metal body. Or metal base. It may be a little more challenging for me to get the wheels off of there. But anyway, see you in a minute. Hopefully... All right, we're back. It actually took a little longer than I thought, about five minutes. But it was actually easier for me to get the wheels out of the metal one because I could pop my <laughs> screwdriver in there and wedge them open a little bit and pop them out. And then I could use my punch and smack them back down to hold it in. The plastic one had to be real careful. There goes my heat. Darn it. I'll try to make this quick. Had to be real careful because it... uh. They wanted to break off. But anyway, they both popped back together again. But anyway, <laughs> there's the pixel shaker with the orange wheels, which I think looks suit more suiting. Of course, it, it you know it looked cool with you. I'm gonna get the other one and keep it, just because it's original. But that looks more suiting for a toy car. And like I said, there's the other one. It's not really it don't pop out or nothing. 
but it looks more like something I would see driving down the road. So, sorry about that heat, guys. It's snowing here today in Missouri. But, uh, just looks more like something I would see driving down the road now. So, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Like I said, it may not be up your guys' alley. Maybe you liked it the way it was. And I didn't expect it to be an eye popper or nothing like the Jigs was. But, like I said, it looks more appropriate to me now. I can see that rolling through the neighborhood. Pretty cool. I like it. And, Pixel Shaker don't look bad. Looks more like a toy car. Looks cool. Goes just fine. Kind of Halloween-ish. But, uh, yeah, if he doesn't want it, I'll, uh, I'll probably, I, I don't know if I have any JB Weld, but this is plastic, so I'll, I'll probably just put a little super glue in there. I mean, it popped on, but this pixel, pixel shaker, it's like the black piece and the yellow piece are two separate pieces. So, the black one goes on and actually holds the yellow one down. And I, if, if, if I'm going to keep it, I may just leave it and set it up there. But if he wants it, I'm going to definitely glue it because he's going to be, throwing this sucker around. Believe it or not, he's got a wall collection as well, but he also has a bunch he opens and plays with just like a six-year-old would. But anyway, I don't know. I don't think it looks bad. You guys then got me started on something that I might regret. I saw Derek's video this morning on his diecast where he was, you know, shining up some bodies because he does a lot of, you know, mods and paints and all. And Man, that's a whole nother rabbit hole I don't want to get sucked into, but it, it, <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to resist it. I can't see well enough to do it anyway, but anyway, there they are. Hope you like them. Thanks again. If you haven't seen that video, oh, I'm sure you've seen that video. If you haven't seen Derek's video on that, check it out. He makes that piece of that 57 Chevy, I believe it was 57, really shine. And, uh, you might like it. Looks like a lot of work, but it's well worth it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace.